Tennessee's Central Basin resembles the Italian Alps about as much as Kevin Bacon looks like actual bacon. But on our drive through the Volunteer State, the Alfa Romeo crossover named for the continent's iconic mountain pass transported us instead to a different European motoring mecca. Running southwest out of Nashville, the 444-mile Natchez Trace Parkway plows a narrow squiggle through a verdant forest and conjures up a sort of neo nurburgring the way the manicured easement meets old growth oh, the way the asphalt never runs straight, the way one blind corner feeds into another, it all evokes the holy green hell. Mind the light crew clad cyclists, dispatch with the dawdling sightseers, and ignore the 40 and 50 mile per hour speed limits of the Natchez Trace, and the Alfa Romeo Stilvio alights with verve. It steers with a steady linear effort. The brake pedal responds obediently to slight pressure modulation, and in general Alpha's brake-by-wire system felt more natural and better sorted this time around than it has in Juia sedans that we've driven. The Stelvio doesn't drive small, it's slightly longer than the Audi Q5, the BMW X3, and the Mercedes-Benz GLC class, but there is a precision to the controls that invites you to use more road, to corner closer to trees that crowd the driving line, and to drift nearer the drainage ditch at the pavement's edge. In this segment, only a Porsche Macan inspires more confidence. The Stilvio's dynamic virtues hold up when driven in more routine environs as well. This transmission is the rare automatic that doesn't race to upshift upon leaving a stoplight, even with the driving mode selector pointed at the default natural setting. Beyond the buttercream smooth parkway, both the 19 and 20 inch wheels calmly rolled over imperfections. Expand the brand. Alfa moved just 2,700 vehicles in America in the first five months of 2017. The brand's keepers hope to grow that number by moving beyond just building sporty vehicles for the enthusiast fringe, expanding into the greener field where the masses of buyers have clustered, compact crossovers. The Stelvio's measurements suggest tighter rear seat and cargo space than its competitors, although neither feels especially cramped. To keep Alfa's entry from being a Mi2 vehicle, the brand is applying technology in its own way. At Alfa Romeo, technology is more than a fancy radio and advanced driver assistance systems. Everybody has that, taunts Alfa boss Red Bigland. The technology that Bigland boasts of, Every Stelvio carries a carbon fiber drive shaft and enough aluminum that the new Alpha should undercut the BMW X3 by almost 100 pounds. The available performance package installs a helical limited slip differential between the rear wheels. To drive home the brand message, Alpha makes the driver thumb and engine start button mounted on the steering wheel. In Sport and T-Sport trims, massive column mounted aluminum shift paddles block the control stalks. You're not going to use that turn signal without first executing four flawless downshifts, they insist. Everybody else also has a turbocharged 2.0-liter inline-four paired with an 8-speed automatic and all-wheel drive, all of which comes standard here. The variable valve lift engine is the strongman of the class, however, at 280 horses and 306 pounds to foot of torque. Yet it's also a gentleman, revving smoothly with minimal turbo lag. Stelvio pricing starts from $42,990 for a nicely equipped car that includes 10-way power seats for both the driver and passenger, real leather, many competitors use a synthetic material of standard, 18-inch wheels, proximity key entry, remote start, adaptive headlights, rear parking sensors, a backup camera, and a power lift gate. The $2,000 step up to the T-trim adds heating to the front seats and the steering wheel, satellite radio, front parking sensors, and an 8.8-inch .8 infotainment display, up from 6.5 inches in the base model. Sport variants, available in both base and T configurations, include paddle shifters, aluminum interior trim and pedals, larger wheels, painted brake calipers, in red, black, or yellow, and gloss black exterior trim. A couple of different driver assistance packages bring blind spot monitoring, 
auto dimming exterior mirrors, adaptive cruise control, forward collision warning with automated emergency braking, lane departure warning, and automatic high beams. Apple CarPlay and Android Auto compatibility will become standard equipment within a couple months of the Stelvio's late June arrival, but that feature is unavailable in the initial batch of cars.